this is the latest in a round of tragedies for one Warren family. Now they're asking themselves, how much more can they take? Surrounded by destruction, there was only one place to turn. The youngs found comfort in each other's arms as they watched the family business they've owned for 88 years be torn apart. Just devastation. I don't know how much more one family can take in one week. Bev Horensky, the owner's daughter, was working alone Sunday morning at Young's Garden Mart on Ryan Street, just north of 11 Mile in Warren. Shortly after 8 a.m., she smelled smoke. And I said, something's wrong, and I heard pop, pop, pop. And I got a little farther, and I saw darker smoke, and I said, the store's on fire. Investigators are looking for a cause, but don't believe foul play is involved. Crews were able to harness the flames before they got to the warehouse, which could have been immensely more dangerous because of stored fertilizer. But the northeast portion of the building, which was home to the retail center, is a complete loss. You know, I'm just thankful that she got out. You know, it's like things can be rebuilt, things can always be replaced. But uh, I lost one family member just a week ago, and I, I couldn't lose another. I'm just so glad that she's able to stand here with her arm around me. This family is no stranger to tragedy. It is the second time Bev has escaped a fire. Her house went up in flames in the 1990s. And just one week earlier, Bev's sister, Cindy Roback, buried her 37-year-old son. When he was found dead, Cindy's mother-in-law had a massive heart attack. You bury a child and you think you're so numb and then you wake up to this and you think, how much more can you take? How much more can one family take? And while the flames have been extinguished, the family's resilience has not. We always make a joke. They make them tough where we come from. And I don't know how much tougher we can be, but we're strong. And this isn't the last we'll see of Young's Garden Mart. In fact, the family has vowed they will rebuild after this tragedy. From Warren, Smitha Koloki, 7 Action News.